Hey there, Internet. You ever have one of those days where, like, you have a pretty good idea and you think that it's going to all work out and then you start to do it and then you realize that nothing is going as you had originally planned it? No, that never happens to me. Shut up. No one likes you. Oh. Okay. Life unedited. So, you're probably wondering what has gotten me into such an existential malaise currently. Well, I'ma tell you a story. You see, it's getting to be that back to school time, as I've already mentioned, and for my major, which is media video editing type related things, that's not exactly what it's called, but it's a close approximation, I need a fairly decent computer to do like editing and filming and all of those things on. I've been using my laptop for it up to this point, but it keeps getting blue screens of death, and it's just not made for that kind of heavy lifting. And so I've been looking into the most cost efficient way of getting a pretty powerful PC that would be good for video editing and quite conveniently would also be good for playing lots of fun nifty video games. Well, in a very fortunate turn of events, or so I thought, my university was actually having a computer sale where they were selling all of the computers that used to be in the computer labs or the dorms. And they're fairly new, like 2012 desktops, and they come with a monitor, and they were only 200 bucks, and I was like, that's gotta be a decent starting point to which I can then buy components and build onto it and it'll be great. And so I had this whole plan that I was gonna buy this computer and then I was gonna buy a better graphics card and some more RAM and a better hard drive and for about 500 bucks I would have a really really solid computer which is a fantastically great price for a computer of that quality and it seemed like a really really good plan. Well yesterday I got in my car and I drove to my college like this because this is how you drive and I paid my $200 and I brought the computer home and then I set it up on my counter and I started messing around with it and first of all I had to do like 8,000 updates and as I was spending like eight hours waiting for all those updates to download, I got on my laptop, this one right here, and I started searching for all of those different parts I was going to need to buy. And I found all the things I wanted, RAM and a graphics card and a hard drive and maybe a USB 3.0 port and all this fun thing, and then I realized that the computer I had bought was a small form factor PC and also included only a 240 watt power supply. Now for those of you who are unfamiliar with how computer components work, that probably doesn't mean anything to you, but essentially what it means is that I couldn't even get any good enough parts that would fit inside the box, and even if I did did because they do make low profile options, my computer wouldn't have enough power juice in it to make those things work. And so basically the only thing I could actually upgrade with this thing is the RAM, which would be slightly helpful and I mean get like 12 gigs of RAM and a decent processor and I'll be able to do some of the things I want to do. But the most important thing, the graphics card and kind of the memory are just no goes. I can't do anything about it. And so there I was last night at about 1.30 after literally 10 hours of working on this thing and I was incredibly frustrated and I just kind of lost it and I sat on my couch and stared at a wall for probably half an hour because I just couldn't think straight and my mind was so like activated and I couldn't go to sleep. But eventually I did drift off and I woke up this morning thinking it's really not that big of a deal because yes, I am short $200 but even in the long run of things that's not that much money and for the time being it will still be better than my laptop even without the upgrade so that's at least worth something and it's a decent in-between step if nothing else. Plus there's lots of contingencies. There's lots of different options that aren't just my little plan that I had that was so perfect but ended up so compre- so compre- but ended up so completely wrong. And so through all of this I've learned that yes you can make plans and you can think things through and you can do all the planning in the world you want to even though I didn't do probably as much planning as I should have because I could have avoided this whole issue from the beginning but that's another story. But even with all that planning sometimes things just aren't going to work out. That's the way the world is and yes does it kind of really just be annoying like that? Yeah it drives me crazy because I'm the kind of guy who just wants to like know what I want to do and do it and be done with it and be good and be hot. Yeah, happiness. But this is just one of those times where you gotta roll with the punches. And I don't know what this means, but I'm doing it anyway. I guess it's like rolling punches. Who knows? And just kind of chill out a little bit with life. Those are my thoughts for this week. Let me know down in the comment section below. Have you ever had something like this happen where you had this perfect, fantastic, wonderful plan and then it just crumbled into pieces? And how did you salvage it? Or did you just go cry in a corner, which would be depressing? But until next week, deuces. Deuces. <laughs>